Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. We happen to be at the uh, Poolville. At what Brett calls the Poolville. The, at, the, the poolside the kitchen poolville. in the backyard diner. I'm super happy yep. and super excited. Yeah. This one intrigues oh, me to the goodness. next level. Yes, I got a shout out to my boy, Drew, Drew Cox. He's my neighbor, a friend. And I've seen this on Carnival Eats, but this is his signature burger. He came last time Adam was at my house cooking. He stopped by and went into depth about how much we have to do this on this channel. So Drew, this one's for you and because of you mainly. So. <laughs> right. I, and I've been telling Adam since we started cooking we had to do this one. He and, has. And here we are finally in football season. That's right. Perfect. Here we are, quintessentially, this one had to get done. You can't make this up. <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> Thank me later. <laughs> Thank me later for this one. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Like I say excited, I'm so intrigued for this one. I'm geeked. And I will say the last time I was this intrigued was when we did the peanut butter smash burgers because that one intrigued me and we could have done a little bit more to add more flavor to it. Yep. We were more concerned, so we left it relatively plain. Yep. This one we're doing as is with the cheese, with the bacon. Why am I talking about the groceries? Brett, that's yeah, your job. Do your job. job. Oh, I have one job. <laughs> you were doing that for me. Here we go, we got, uh, well, clearly the star of this show is the donuts. And, and these are, we're not any do donuts. These are Krispy Kreme, the glazed donuts. We are using this 80 20 ground beef, about three and a half ounces. We're going a little bigger on these American cheese. The bacon has to be there, Drew said. And we've got salt and pepper is in effect. These electric gravity salt and pepper shakers. So right. Brett, Brett's throwing these in every single time. As He's much so as I can. happy for it, so excited. You would, you about would have it. thought that, that not only that, that I didn't pay for them, you thought that they gave them to us and they're paying us for this. Right, absolutely. He's so excited. But speaking of excited, Brett, you yes. know what else I'm super excited for? the release of our book yes! in January. We have a cookbook oh. coming out, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook. Check it out on Amazon for pre-order. Pre yes. We cannot believe this is already happening. Several months in the work. It's several, almost a year ago, yeah, we I was started say, to closer to with a Dan, year. our editor at Quarto Group. The publishing company yes. has been an absolute dream to work with. Uh, hopefully we have some marketing things coming out, but we can't wait for you to get to see this. So don't forget to check it out on, on Amazon. Pre-orders are in effect. We would love for you to check it out and even more for to do a pre-order yeah because get it, these things pushed and promoted and all those things exactly because a pre-order gives amazon a good idea of how may, things may go so we if you could help make us look kind of cool that would be awesome <laughs> right thank you so much in advance for that right but brett nothing yes. else to do we already got to the groceries let's yep. get to the cook here we go all right, so it is Saturday, although the storms might be, be coming in. We got neighbors doing yard work. We got neighbors down playing. We love it. It's, it's all fun being a part of the neighborhood. Now, one of the tips we often give about bacon is to put it on the cool griddle, and it doesn't curl as much. Well, the griddle's been on for several minutes. It is on low, so we will get some curling maybe a little bit because it is going to sizzle when we lay it down. Bring the sizzle for sizzle. All right, so we're each going to need one piece, four or two pieces, and then of course, we've got two more for snack and bacon. Right, Cannon? Yep. All right, so that's all we need. We'll go ahead and cook this up, and uh, when it's done, we'll come back and uh, we'll get to the next step. All right, well, most of the bacon is ready to pull. Brett's like, it needs to be pulled right now. It will continue before it to cook. overcooks. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this. I'm gonna take a gander at that one. So I'm gonna pull this bacon, we're gonna give it a little shake off right here, and then we're gonna put this off to the side. Now, if I think we've said this before, if we were using a Blackstone or a Camp Chef or another cold, cold steel, steel, aside from this bacon grease, we might actually put in a little bit of oil for the smash burgers, but with this nonstick, it's not necessary. So if we were doing this, if you have a Blackstone or you have a cold rolled steel, You'd put a little bit of oil, spread it around with this bacon grease. Yep. But at least that's what's worked for us to keep the, the burgers from sticking. Yep. We expect a little bit of stickage. Yep. That's normal. But well, Brett's ready to go and uh, get this so, going on. Well, well, first of all, I'm going to get, get the, gunky, the gunks, gunks. gunky gunks off. Which is the but, technical term, by the way. Yeah, by the way, a scientific. Uh, but we want to save, like Adam said, some of this right up here. But actually, I'm going to hold it to the side because I'm now going to crank these. Oh, the these one hot. thing we always forget yep. is to crank the heat. Honestly, for all the smash burgers we've done, we do bacon on lower heat. And Brett, how often do we forget to pull the heat up? Just about every time. Yeah, and so we're but, always like, why aren't we getting the Maillard reaction? Where's the crust? We want the crustification on this one. So we're going to let it sit for a little bit and get super hot before we do that. I'm, I'm telling you, even sometimes those times when we do not get that Maillard reaction, it still tastes amazing. These burger, smash burgers are the best. They are. 
All right, Brett, we only had to let this sit about three or four minutes yeah, and it, it is quick. hot. Another Look. quick tip we learned. We feel the heat typically, we use the back of our hand. We actually learned this from a former military firefighter who told us that obviously if you put your hand down, if anything were to happen, grease splatter, or you put your hand down, you burn the palm of your hand. That way you don't risk it. But there we go. Listen to the sizzle on those. Just a reminder that salt and pepper are here and they're in effect. So we're gonna get these going. I'm making the noises. I like to put a little extra because we are only doing the one side. Brett, now it's time to lay it the smash it down. All right, here we go. And as always, we press and give these a good solid press for a good, we say 13 to 15 seconds. I Brett, really think 10. Brett always says 10. It's a long 10 seconds. I do closer to 15. Uh, actually, no, when uh, the heat is this high, 10 to 12, and they're, listen, you do you, boo, but we just say holding it longer really gets that good Maillard reaction. Yep. You can do it by pressing just a little bit, but it doesn't always work. We have found this is the foolproof way to get us that Maillard reaction. Cannon is almost like he forgot. Yes, this, my guy, is the Donut Smash Burger. And you can see it's already pretty much starting to cook up on that side. That yes. is looking beautiful. And what we say in the business, Brett, time to flippity doo da. Flippity doo da. Now with this, we use the scraper because I have to come at an angle to really make sure it gets up because it is gonna want to stick to the griddle. I can feel it fighting me, but that just just gonna means have it's gonna have a, a good beautiful Maillard reaction. And here you go, look at that. Oh, that's look exactly at that. what we wanted. Same thing here. Man, this one's got teeth. Look at that. Come through and cheese those up. See, you can see the juice is coming up. People say when you smash a burger, you're smashing the juice out of it. No, that's not true at all. In fact, the juice stays in. That's why it's coming up out. You As go. you can see, it's not quite as hot here, so we're not getting quite the same reaction, but we are super pleased with these. Some of it got stuck there. That's okay. We got that reaction. There we go, Brett, they're ready to pull. All right, at this point, it's just time to B-roll. Let's build this. Are you kidding me? I can't see the bottom one because the burger's covering it. Look at that. We're gonna have to hurry and eat this so it doesn't melt that, uh, that all the sugar off that. All right, there it is in oh, all its glory. We've got man. a mess behind us we got to clean up, but we needed to hurry and build this these. This is a gloves on type situation. This is, and Brett was saying, it's maybe too hot to eat, but we kind of don't have a choice because I'm worried about that bottom donut bun, just like soaking and then getting too like mushy to eat. So I think we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Hey, let's do this, I'm man. very intrigued still. Like we say, it can look amazing. This looks stupid amazing. Let's be honest, it does look amazing. Golly. Like we say, it can smell amazing. From the, can I get a smell yeah? A smell yeah, you can. You Legit. better testify. Oh, Oh my gosh, yes. this smells so good. But if this doesn't taste amazing, this was all oh, for not. The, the gooeyness from all the oh sugar melting. My. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Mm. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. Wow. Mm. I don't even know what to say. No. Wow. First of all, the burger, the, my gosh. Yeah, the burger is absolutely perfect. Greasy diner burger. You already know what you're getting with Krispy Kreme donut. The sweet, the bacon, no need for anything else. Obviously, you don't want to put condiments on here. This is nuts. This is crazy. Like, it's one of those where I thought, okay, this is just going to be bizarre. No, this works. It does. It absolutely works. This works. Now, shout out to Neil at Flat Top King. He did a breakfast version. Oh. He actually toasted up. I think he cut the donut in half, toasted uh -huh. it, mm -hmm. and then did like the sausage, the bacon, like a true breakfast. I would change nothing. nothing. Like you said, I, I was like, oh, maybe I want a sausage. Do I want a jam? No, you don't. No, you don't. 
syrup to dip it in? No, I don't think so. I mean, if, if I were to add anything, it would be a jelly or a syrup, something oh like that. God. Not ketchup, not mashed. But when we told your son Parker we were making this, he challenged us to do the chicken, chicken the chicken, a chicken one, sandwich, like, like that, KFC, uh, KFC did a couple did years with ago. The donut, the donut chicken sandwich. So that one's got to be a must, and we might have to uh, uh, give Neil a shout and do the breakfast one as well. Brett, if we're ever working the fair or carnival, Honestly, this is what we're doing. Oh, this, uh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. And we'll make our own donut. Although those yeah. Krispy Kremes, holy cow. My mind is still processing it all. I'm gonna be thinking about this one. This, for, that oh, right yeah. there. If you get a chance to do this one. And I will say, getting those smash burgers perfect was key, that, that cheese perfect with the savoriness so of the beef with the salt and pepper and then the bacon yeah oh my gosh i actually was thought thinking oh we made a mistake with the thick cut bacon we should have done thin cut no we shouldn't have nope we should have done nothing different correct <laughs> if do this one yes do it give do it, it give it a try and let us know how it goes and also again don't forget to check out our book on pre-order through amazon.com yes. set to release mid january 2023 yep. this is our our pride, our joy, our passion are on the pages in this book. And right. we like, they will send us the first copy. So yes. as soon as we get that, we are gonna come straight here and Do an open unboxing. it for you. We yeah. cannot wait yeah. to see it. Absolutely incredible. Yep. If you did like this video, if it gave you something else, something creative that yes, you're gonna do on your griddle, <laughs> make sure you give this a thumbs up. <laughs> yes. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below our video. I love getting to do this. Dude, I love it. These, so ones are, these ones are, this is one of those that will be an absolute memorable yep. cook. Yep, yep. This will go down. This will go down in the annals of time. Yes, this will be. Uh, this will make one of the lists of the videos where we make lists. Yes, when we're <laughs> like, oh, what is our best cook of 2022? Yeah. Yep, this it's is on that list. There. I promise you. <laughs> exactly. If it's not, then holler, call us out for it. Yeah. There's no way this isn't. <laughs> yeah. Aside from coming to make this banger, Drew. Yeah, thank you. You drew. Wiles, Shout out to you, bro. Then why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on!